Hey guys, it's Tech Rain here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to stream on TikTok. That is right, in 2024, which I am pretty excited about going over this here today because there are some things that have changed about how TikTok streaming works. So I thought I'd give you guys an update on everything. So first of all, let's go over the requirements and what has actually changed. So if you are a TikTok creator of over a thousand followers who does gaming related content, you are eligible to have the actual TikTok live studio, which is pretty cool to see. But it's weird if you don't do gaming TikToks and you're just primarily like, you know, a dancing TikToker and do all that kind of jazz, you need to have at least 10,000 followers. So all I'm hearing from how TikTok works now, to get access to TikTok live studio, it really depends on what kind of content you make. Now you might be wondering, Techran, is there any way for me to get access to a TikTok stream key in URL so that way I can stream with OBS studios instead of the TikTok live studios? An excellent question. Well, I have some unfortunate bad news is that TikTok is no longer hanging out TikTok talk stream keys and urls which is sucks really does the thing because of the fact that you don't have the flexibility with tiktok live studio as you do with obs studio what you can do with it which is just kind of unfortunate however there is another way to stream to tiktok live studio with streamlabs obs which i'll have that video linked at the end if you're interested but let's just say hypothetical you have access to tiktok a live studio what do i do next so you can see right here i have a tiktok account that is primarily gaming content related to apex legends if i was to go to the top right and if you notice you have access to live studio that primarily means one of two things if you click on this you'll get this tab right here which will allow you to download tiktok live studio however if you do click on this and it takes you to the tiktok live feed that means you don't have access to it Let's just say, for example, you have access to this. What do I do next? Well, what you want to do is download the actual app for your computer. You want to open this file and on up, and then it's going to install it onto your computer. Now, I will be making actually custom widgets for actually TikTok. So if you want to promote your Twitch during your actual TikTok live stream, so I'll have something like at blank on Twitch, link in bio, uh, contact me on Discord, and I'll make you for free. Once it's finished actually installing, it's going to run it on your computer, and you will need to actually log into us because it's going to require more a QR scan login or you can log in manually. So for example here, I'm just going to log in with my phone. I'm going to go to the camera app on my phone. I'm going to click on the use QR code. I'm going to take up this, click on the link that pops up. Then it's going to take me to TikTok app. It's going to be like, do you want to confirm this user? And I'm just going to say yes. Once you're logged in, allow you to set up TikTok live studio. So we're going to say uh, set up now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just do a uh, general. And what's it going to do is going to test the quality of your actual live to see what your upload speed and download speed is. So then it's going to recommend some settings. You want to use quality settings or performance settings for the time being. We will use quality. You can change this later if you really want to. I uh, didn't choose from portrait to landscape. I would recommend setting this on portrait from what I found out that if you do landscape TikTok live streams, TikTok doesn't promote it as much. I'm not entirely sure why, they just prefer it that way. And what I recommend you do is set this to full screen camera. Then of course it allows you to pick your microphone, your actual uh, was a camera. We're not gonna mess with this too much. We're gonna just click finish for the time being. Then we click not now. And then you can see right here, we have access to our camera and the scene that goes with it. So for the time being, let's actually add our camera in actually TikTok Live Studio. Now with the default camera one, we can actually use this, but just to show you guys a full complete guide, we're gonna delete this for the time being. So first thing you do is add yourself a source in actually TikTok, and we're gonna add a camera. Now I'm gonna add probably just my C15 uh, for my Logitech camera, hello. Uh, so we can add that, you can change the resolution, the FPS, and do whatever you want this. For the time being, I'm not gonna particularly mess with this since the camera works perfectly fine. So we can add that and you can see in our canvas, it's already good. If we were to drag around this corner, we can mess with the size of it. Just keep in mind, if you drag the canvas over here, you won't be able to mess with the size of it. You gotta make sure it's in the canvas to mess with the corners and stuff. So that's just something important to keep in mind, just in case you're wondering like, why can't I readjust the size of it? It has to be in the frame. Now that you've got your webcam all good to go, you might be wondering, how do I add my gameplay or my capture card in this? Well, that's gonna be really easy. What we wanna do is click on add a source again. And this time you can choose your capture card or display capture. Now, since I am on a single PC setup, I am going to click the display capture. I'm going to add this. And of course I have one monitor. I'm just going to select that one monitor, but if you have another one, you can do that. And if you have a capture card, the exact same process to make sure to find the capture card you're using, you can add it that way. And then you can adjust the size of it to however you like. Now, another thing you can do is actually set up your alerts for the actual TikTok stream. So we do add a source. You can add alerts, goals, uh, what is it, viewer ranking, and also countdown, and also a chat box. For some reason, this is just not working. I'm not entirely sure why, but let's just say, for example, here, an alert. We can add this in here. You can mess with the sound of it, how loud it wants to be, but I'm not going to particularly mess with this too much, and we can just drag this around. Now, keep in mind, if you do actually click on the other canvases, it will be different scenes. So for this one, camera fit the screen. 
we have another one sharing screen but particularly you only have three canvases now if you use the gaming settings it will be four canvases but me personally i think the actual what is a general canvas is the best one for most people just like the setup you stream with now let's just say you want to promote your actual twitch youtube or some other platform while you're streaming on tiktok all you have to do is contact me on discord i'll make you a custom little widget and you can actually use it so i've already made one for myself for me to use what we're gonna do is add source we're gonna click on images click add an image and then we can just select one from our file so i'm gonna go my downloads that thing i just downloaded it says uh, link in bio for my actual twitch which is awesome and we can add this and we can just drag this in here and move it however we want for the time being now our scene looks pretty good to start streaming the tiktok live but we need to do two more things before we do that the first thing we need to do is mess up our settings so what we're gonna do is go to the bottom left here go to that settings icon and we'll go to our quality settings for our stream what i recommend you do is set this to customize set it to 1920 by 1080 60 fps 6000 bit rate and you can kind of leave the audio bit rate the same and then just use whatever your encoder is so me i have an nvidia gpu so i'm gonna set this to nvang if you have an amd gpu you want to use the amd encoder if you are having any problems with your stream though like upload speed and stuff i would recommend switching this from actually 1920 by 1080 to actually 720p and then switch this actual video bit rate from 6000 to only 4,000. Once you're good there, all you have to do is close this on out. The next thing we do is start messing with our microphone. So what we're gonna do is click these two audio mixer tabs. And when you're in here, you can actually see your different devices. You can see I have my uh, microphone for my primary mic, which is my Elgato stuff. So I'm gonna of course switch that by clicking this gear icon. I can switch to my microphone device. I'm just gonna find my uh, lane in for my actual mic here which is awesome. You would just find the same thing for your device. So if you have like a HyperX, something like that, or a Blue Yeti, you just select that. Then of course you can add some other things. You can add actually a noise reduction. Of course, I have it off of timing because they're very pre-applied. So you can enable that for your microphone, which I recommend you definitely do. And also echo cancellations. So if you know you're in a place where it's very echo-like, you can do the exact same thing. And these are the two ones I would recommend enabling. But since I can't enable them, since I have a lane in from a mixer, I'm not gonna worry about it for the time being. Now the other thing is you can see media audio. This can be from whatever you want, like your PC and stuff like that. So just make sure this is set to whatever your gameplay is or your capture card. So I know for a fact, that this is actually going into my default device for my actual PC. So I'm catching all the gameplay on my monitor right now that's going to it. And then this other media sound effect is like the sound effects for your actual, uh, what is it, alerts and stuff. So you don't really need to mess with that at all. Now that we're good there, all we have to do is click go live to TikTok live. So what this is gonna do is start connecting your TikTok and you can actually name whatever your topic of your stream is gonna be about. You're gonna give it like a little about what's going on with it. You're gonna mess with the settings and then you can do some advanced controls to the audience if you want to, but you don't need to mess with this if you don't want to for the time being. The big thing you will need to make sure the mad is of course your topic. So I know I'm doing gaming content. I just look up Apex and once we're done with that, we can click go live. It'll take a second usually to load, but once it's live, it'll let you know you get a little chat pop up and of course you can check your tiktok to see if you're live or not you can see tiktok lives right here which is awesome so we're officially streaming to tiktok with tiktok live studio that's how i stream to tiktok if you guys did find this video helpful or found it interesting make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed because we're super close to 12,000 subscribers so you want to help us hit that goal that'd be very much appreciated i'll see you on tech grant out